My name is Terry Tomerlin, and for the next few minutes, I will be your student nurse. <laughs> On behalf of the spring class of 2016, I would like to welcome the family, friends, staff, and administration to help us celebrate our moment, the one we've been working toward for so long. It's a rare opportunity to be aware that you are having an experience you will remember for the rest of your life. Thank you for being a part of our cherished memory. When I sat down to really think about writing this speech, I was stumped. What words can I say to this group of people to let them know what they mean to me? It has been 626 days since most of us walked into the Nursing Fundamentals class with the dream of being right here, right now. From our first semester in our prerequisite studies, we heard the nursing program was no joke. It makes A students pray to pass, and it destroys those who do not put forth any effort. I don't know about anybody else, but I was cocky. I'm not afraid to admit that. Walking into our fundamentals class on the first day, I smiled when Mr. Collins told us that we better get used to not being perfect. <laughs> I'll show him, I thought to myself. Many classmates probably thought the same thing. Well, I learned a few of my most valuable lessons when I took my first test. Woo! It is possible to be able to recite the textbook from front to back and by page number and to still not be able to tackle an NCLEX style question. One of the most difficult things to do is to answer a multiple choice question on a test where all of the answers are correct, but which one is the most correct? <laughs> Before my first day in the program, I told myself that I was not coming here to make friends. I have more important things on my priority list than to have to put forth the time and the effort that it would take. Again, I was wrong. Thanks to this amazing group of people here, I never took a step alone. I am one of many non-traditional students here this evening. Our ages range from the early 20s to way beyond the point where you can safely ask somebody their age. We are daughters and sons, mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, and we even have a grandmother or two. The path that we have just completed has been the most difficult journey most of us will ever attempt, much less accomplish. We have laughed and cried, loved and lost, all in the name of not only making a dependable future for ourselves, but for the sake of helping people and saving lives. From studying for major exams to our celebration this evening, I have had the best support from my classmates and my instructors. While the instructors gave us all of the tools and encouragement we needed to become safe and effective nurses, our class has been there for each other, through thick and thin. Some of us have lost family and friends, and there have even been a couple of births. We did not grieve or celebrate alone. So from the graduating class, spring of 2016, much gratitude to the instructors for making us more than we ever imagined that we could be. Thank you to my classmates for always being there, even when you had your own problems and issues. My deepest appreciation and our deepest appreciation to our spouses and families for putting up with us through our physical presence but emotional absence and the long hours of studying and talking about bodily functions. <laughs> As I bring this speech to a close, I would like to echo some advice I gave to a classmate who was thinking of quitting halfway through. They needed a pep talk. I understand that being a nurse will make your life better, and you'll have some job security. My concern is not for your future security, but for those patients whose lives will be made better because you were their nurse. You will make a difference to them on their worst time and they will not have to do it alone. Thank you. Thank you, Terry Tom Boleyn. <laughs> we will now have 
a presentation to the nursing department.